Hi, my name is Maxim. Welcome to my channel where we test drive our way through JavaScript world. And today we are going to discuss Karma JS. Karma can greatly improve your coding experience by constantly watching your files and allowing you to run your tests in all possible browsers. Let's take a quick look inside. It consists of server and client. Server watches your files, controls client or clients through TCP IP socket connection, serves your code and tests to client through regular HTTP connection, and reports results to you. Client does nothing. Just kidding, it's running your tests. Let's try it out. First, let's install Karma. We'll also install Karma CLI, but this is not necessary. Karma is just a test runner, so to be able to write our specs, we have to install some testing framework. We'll also install plugin to run our tests in Chrome. We need to generate settings files, so run Karma init and accept all the default settings. Just don't forget to set paths for your test and source files. Let's create our folders. Start writing specs. Hmm, let's say for FizzBuzz problem. Our FizzBuzz solver will have process function, and it has to return Fizz if given number is divisible by 3. And we'll write a spec for it using Jasmine's expect syntax. Also, we want it to return Buzz if it's divisible by 5. FizzBuzz if number is divisible by 3 and by 5 and number itself if it's not divisible by neither of them. Cool, now let's start Karma. Our FizzBuzz solver doesn't exist yet, so it's not a surprise that our tests are failing. So let's create the thing. As you know, if something is divisible by two numbers, it will be divisible by their product. So for this bus, we should just check if number is divisible by 15 and it should be enough. Good, three specs left. If number is divisible by 3, we return fees. Bus if divisible by 5. And finally we return number itself if it's not divisible by neither. Cool, all the specs are green, and as you can see, setting up Karma.js was pretty easy. Press the thumbs up button if you found this video useful, and subscribe for next tutorials.